I want you to hear from, again, a man I feel that has proven integrity and has come to this assignment because of his life's commitment, has earned him the respect of uh, the American public and our president and the administration. And I think, again, that we want to uh, thank him for taking time to come and address us at the National Action Network Summer Conference. He has a doctorate in education and he's the executive director of the White House Initiative on HBCUs, Brother John Sylvanus Wilson. Give a hand, Brother Wilson. Should not 
have been so tragic and dramatic that we did not jump on that bush approach to things, mm -hmm. okay? But a lot of our people got worked up, as okay. Reverend Al Sharpton said. A lot of pe our people, especially our, um, some members of CBC and a lot of our HBCU presidents were really angry with Barack Obama, mm -hmm. saying, what's, what's up, brothers? You know, what's <laughs> and, uh, and that was And that was so unfortunate. That was so unfortunate because we got to be a little patient. We got, we got to, I mean, we, we elected, the nation elected Barack Obama. He's president of the nation, right? All right. right. And I, just to give you a sense of what's going on here, $85 million was what was in play you understand that we are going to be spending out of the Department of Education $130 billion? Come on now. Do you realize that's less than a half a percent? Come on now. You know, I don't know if you know the concept, who moved my cheese? Yes. But, but some of us got so focused on that, we didn't see that we were, we're in the cheese factory now. Okay? In the sense that education of, uh, in, in Barack Obama's mind and in the mind of this administration is the civil rights issue of our time. So we just invested a, a $12 billion in community colleges. You know that over half of African Americans in uh, higher education are in community colleges. Let me, let me just get you to understand that initiatives are, are unfolding right now. They're, we're, they're being rolled out on what we're doing with education. As I said, $130 billion, that's a, lot of, uh, that's a lot of money. So, what we're doing is we're putting together a new executive order. Every president that comes in has to do an executive order, and that gives us the mandate for our office. All right? This office, White House Initiative, was not started by uh, Barack Obama. It was started by Jimmy Carter back in 1980. And that's when the Department of Education was launched. They thought there needed to be a special effort for HBCU, so Jimmy Carter launched the office, and it has been renewed by each president since. And they renew it with an executive order. And that executive order gives the framework for the job. What President Obama has given me the opportunity to do is to reshape the executive order according to newer ideas. Here's another change. Newer ideas on what it's going to take to get our institutions all right? That's what we're busy with now. We're setting up an advisory board, a national advisory board, a presidential advisory board. So we got the executive order and the advisory board. They are in process right now. So I can't speak um, too long and too much because we're pulling all this together now about what the grid is going to be. But I can tell you, we are redefining what it means to strengthen the capacity of HBC not going to be what has been done before. What, is, what this office has done before primarily is to hold a big conference every year and to track and monitor the 32 federal agencies on how much money is flowing to HBCUs and to get them to give more. I'm still going to do that. My staff and I are still going to do that. But we're going to do much more than that because so much more than that 